Good morning. Welcome to our Friday wrap up here at the Civic Center. This morning, I have Carol Bass Knight. Carol, good morning. Good morning, Sharon. Good morning. We have a special guest this morning, the director of the Chocolate Festival, Judy Haley. Good morning. Good morning, Judy. Good morning. We're excited about the Chocolate we're re- Festival. We're ready we for are. some chocolate. Yes. We're ready are. for some chocolate. <laughs> so, Judy, kind of get us started on what's going to be happening this weekend with the Chocolate Festival here okay. in Moorhead City at the Civic Center. Well, we've been preparing yesterday as well as today for the setup. Uh, to be able to have the vendors coming in today. They'll be arriving around lunchtime or so, and they'll be putting out their wares and, and, and all of their goodies for the Chocolate Festival this weekend, being ready for all of the Chocolate Festival fans that are coming to celebrate chocolate and charity as well. Awesome, awesome. Well, I'm going to start off by uh, just a little quick background okay. of uh, John Green uh, thought of this event 19 years ago. Actually, prior to that, he had the vision. His wife loved chocolate, Miss Marlene, and he came up with this idea that chocolate festival and was told from the get-go, that will never work. Well, here we are 19 years later, $550,000 donated to the local community here in Carteret County, and that's where those those charities Mm -hmm. tie in at. This year, the recipients for our charities are Camp Albemarle, which a lot of folks Mm -hmm. are familiar with, where the kids go and have a great time. And uh, then we're also Bread and Barley out of Newport. They are Support Newport. And then Second Blessings Outreach Ministry here in Moorhead that provides material needs for those that are in need. Mm -hmm. That is our, our folks that are supporting. Now, they also, we don't just hand over a check. This is their festival. They work this festival. And uh, so that means a lot to them to be a part of it, as well as us in the respect of manpower to help us put on this wonderful event that we have now done for 19 years. And 20 years next year, our anniversary, great things coming up on next year. <laughs> That's going to yeah. be exciting. Yeah. Kind of tell us where the festivities start. Okay. Today, of, on Friday, we will begin at uh, from 12 to 3 our Bake Off, our Bake Off competition, which will be going on. We've got a change this year, an exciting change. Uh, Camp Albemarle, along with their partners uh, down uh, in Moorhead at Promised Land Market, that is where our bakers will be taking their cakes that they have baked for competition. It is a pro-am Bake Off, meaning professionals and amateurs. Oh. So everybody can, can cook in the respect of the Bake Off uh, for cakes. They have uh, right now a great lineup of registries, and they will carry those this afternoon to Promised Land. And at Promised Land Market, downtown Moorhead, tonight at 6 p.m., we invite the public to come. Uh, It is a ticketed event that you can get online at carolinachocolatefestival.com and see what those cakes are all about, but also see that some of the bakers, and also we're going to be auctioning those cakes there tonight. Oh, wow. Oh, so Promise, <laughs> Promise Land will be providing us some uh, hors d'oeuvres as well, and then with the opportunity of a cash bar. So it'll be a great, great event. That's uh, absolutely. On. Then in the morning, uh, starting out the morning, Early in the morning, we have our five k. Oh, well, well, for them, I won't be out there running the path, but uh, the Coco 5K run. Okay. We've done that now for several years and had great participants. And uh, the weather's looking great. Going to be a little coolish, but that's all right for runners. I wouldn't know myself, but that's okay. Uh, but they'll start out that um, in the morning at, at uh, I think it's 8, it's when the run starts. But you, if you have not registered yet online, you also have the opportunity to register here this afternoon from 4 until 6, as well as in the morning, early 2. And it's also not only a run for individuals, but for the family. So we run early in the morning for chocolate, that, and then at 9 o'clock, we open the festival to the public. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's when we have our pudding eating contest going on <laughs> all throughout the day, and it's for all ages. It used to be done just for kids, but next thing you know, we had adults up there <laughs> wanting to do it. So we started doing it for adults. And <laughs> so we've got the pudding eating contest going on. All these vendors uh, that have will be setting up today will have chocolates galore, and then we also are going to offer an opportunity for you to win the golden ticket. The golden ticket will be an opportunity for you and another person to spend the weekend in uh, Moorhead at the Basque Hotel, thanks to uh, Bill Brown and his team there, as well as Redfish 
grill that is wonderful food. Mm -hmm. uh, so have an evening right out. Yep, yeah, can be yeah. done for Valentine's. So if you hadn't got your Valentine's <laughs> all together, you have the opportunity to come buy a dollar candy bar, and you might be the winner. So that's on Saturday. Uh, we open again from 9 until 5. And then on Sunday, we do it again, uh, 10 Ooh. to 3. Same things, pudding eating contest. Vendors will be here. And uh, so we look forward to, to a great weekend. So how much is... Uh is the admission here okay the we call it admission donation because uh -huh. truly for everything that is uh you know taken in at the festival is given back to the recipients and the charities of of the chocolate That's festival awesome. mm -hmm. and it's nine dollars for adults and then also for kids i think it's five to twelve is five dollars and then four and under is free mm -hmm. then the other great thing on sunday all of our active military uh, that are again active with ID get in free on okay. Sunday. So that's that's, that's nice. going to be a good thing. Okay. Yep, absolutely. Okay. Also want to thank all of our sponsors. If you'll go to our website, you'll be able to see some of those um, for helping us out uh, with the hotels and, and that kind of thing. But right. yes, beginning back this weekend, we've got another surprise, which happens to be in unison with the Super Bowl this year, which is the following weekend instead of on Sunday. Uh, you have the opportunity to come and buy a, a raffle ticket for those Super Bowl jerseys. Ooh, we did wow. that one year. Yes. We did. We did it one year just out of just to see what it would do. It was the year the Panthers were in, oh, yeah. and boy, did the public love that. They we auctioned that jersey for you know for charity, and uh, it really was a good thing. So we have the Bengals and the Rams, but we also have the Chiefs, and the 49ers jerseys as well. So you can go as a team to your party, but come That's and right. get a raffle ticket, and hopefully you'll be the winner. And you don't have to be present to, to win. We will call you and let you know. Well, I'm looking forward to coming. Well, How about good. You, Sharon? I'll be here. I'm going to be working the event, so I'm definitely going to be here. And, uh -huh. so excited. and we thank you for your support and your uh, company support anytime. as well. We sure do. We love it. Sure and um, you guys... Um, Come on out and visit the Chocolate Festival this weekend. Um, weather's going to be nice, but this is a great time to even get some uh, Valentine ideas, too. That's so, right. Yeah. Come if on you can out. hold on to them that long. Yeah. <laughs> but you guys, have a great weekend. Uh -huh. Thanks. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. And before we go, we want to talk a little bit about the numbers, Sharon. Let's hear from last week to this week what we got. Okay. So this week, new listings, 53 Last week, 52. Um, this week, closed 56. Last week, closed 45. This week, pending 56. Last week, 43. So the numbers have picked up a little bit. Just a little bit. But, yeah. but we're, you know, we're selling as many as we're listed. Yes. Um, and so the, the inventory is still staying the same. And it's, and it's reflective in the average sale price yes. this year. I, I mean, agree. Yes, you know, we thought last year was a pretty good yeah. year, for, well, especially for sellers. Yeah, so Carol is, <laughs> is going to share some really good information just to kind of tell you from the beginning of January to now. So mm -hmm. Carol? Let's yeah, know. we're seeing a lot of properties go considerably above ask price, mm -hmm. which, you know, in the fall, we, we saw that last year, this time of year. Mm -hmm. And um, but in the fall, it kind of slowed down. The desirable properties, yes, we would get multiple offers on them, and they would go a little bit above ask. But now, it we really didn't know exactly what would come this spring, you know. But it has it's gone off with a bang. So as far as residential property overall, January first to February fourth today. The average sale price for all properties is up 32%. Wow. And if you look at individual markets, um, and this is over last year, which we thought was really good. Right. But if you look at like Beaufort, for instance, the single family homes are up 52% over last year. And the, the number of sales are up as well. It's up 5%. And with Emerald Isle, the numbers are for single family home, they're up 53%. So, it, and I think more heads up 8%. So, you know, if you if you decide you want to sell, my goodness, you need to get it out there. I agree. And you guys, those of you that are wanting to take advantage of the opportunity of this market, now is the time. Absolutely. For sure. We'd be glad to help. Call us up. All right. Have a great weekend, you guys. Thanks. <laughs>